Da tu si. So it is 10 o'clock and I'm just getting into the office. I typically come later because uh, I want to just beat the traffic and all that. But today I think it's a record. It's uh, the earliest I've gotten to the office, which is good. It's giving me more time to get things done, go to the gym, accomplish more, things like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Speaking of the office, this is kind of what we have. It's basically this room. We got a couch, we got a table. We got some, a little kitchenette for making some tea. And we got a nice view of uh, the center of the city. Now, for many years, I worked at home. I worked on my own projects. I worked out of coffee shops, co-working places for many, many years. And at one point I just decided, okay, enough is enough. I need a place I can come to and I can work. So I've had this office for about a month now. This is starting the second month. And honestly, it's been a productivity boost. It really has helped a lot because I can come here, just work. I'm in the center. I can go out. I can, you know, go to a coffee shop, do stuff. It's completely different than working from home or working out of a coffee shop uh, during the entire day. Because this way I can work here. And then when I'm, you know, whatever, need a change of scenery, I can go to a coffee shop. So it works really, really well. So let's see how it's going to hold up and how much stuff I can accomplish this way. All right, so it's 11.45. I did a bunch of work. I'm gonna work for a little bit more, have my lunch, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna be checking out the brand new gym today, which I've never been to before. So it should be interesting. All right, so it's 12.06. Time to have some lunch, some tea here, and uh, then maybe head to the gym. Let's go get my lunch. There's the lunch right here. All right, so for lunch, let's see what we have. We have potatoes, fried, diced and fried. And this is actually cow's tongue. It's a delicacy and I absolutely love it. It tastes amazing, and I I noticed that some people love it, some people don't. So if you haven't tried it, try it out. Maybe you'll love it as well. So this is going to do for now. Who knows, maybe I'll order something uh, if I need something extra. But for now, this is going to be fine. Got some protein bars here bono bar and a protein bar just to give me that little extra sugar that little bit of extra energy to keep going so one thing i realized recently i guess fairly recently is that you need your own kind of space for doing various things for instance the office it's small it's not huge but it uh, it's perfect right because i can leave i can go there and i can get some work done because nobody is interrupting me nobody is messing with me and most importantly it's a psychological thing i know when i go there it's time to work time to hustle same thing for the gym gym is uh, you know you can buy some stuff uh, and keep them at home but what's nice about a dedicated gym obviously is that when you go there you know you have to work out there's no dis uh, distractions, there's no TV, there's no couch, that kind of thing. So from that respect, the office has been really productive so far. Oops, so slippery. And hopefully it's gonna keep being like this. But right now we gotta do a little bit of extra workout. So this gym I found, it's uh, very close to the office, which means that I can go there during the day which is very ideal because it's either i go in the morning before the office but i hate waking up early i'm not a morning person or i go in the evening after working but the problem with that is that i work fairly late and 
I can go to the gym. I, I have almost no energy by the time I go to the gym and by the time I come home. So in the middle of the day is ideal. Let's see how it's gonna go. Out complete so this uh, gym it's uh, it's pretty small it's like this the mini version of the gym I go to even though they're from the same uh, company it's the same chain but nevertheless the big benefit here is that it's you know five minute walk from the office and I can work out I can take a break I can get some fresh air I can get out I can take a shower, which I did today. And it's a nice way to break up the day in two. Because like I said, uh, I just can't work out in the morning because I feel like I'm not working. Because I'm gonna spend like hour and a half in the gym. Then I'm gonna get to the office late. And working out in the evening is, uh, is tough too because uh, you've been working all day, you're tired, you wanna go home, you're just not optimal. And so maybe I'll work out here during the week and then on weekends I'll go back to the old gym. Alright, so it's 3 o'clock and this gives me plenty of time to finish up uh, the other work that I have to do. And now I'm fully refreshed, I had my workout, now I can continue working, then just go home and rest without feeling guilty that I was too tired to go to the gym or I had some other excuses, etc, etc. So I think I really like the schedule, I think I'm gonna stick to it. Having some beautiful tangerines here, I got two, typically I take some bananas, but we don't have any. You gotta have your vitamins right here. All right, it is 6, 10 p.m. And it's time to head out. Now, typically I would work for another few hours, maybe until about 8, 8.30. But today I have to meet with Marina. We have something planned. And so I'm gonna be leaving earlier than usual today. There's my Uber driver across the street. I really hate it when they don't come to where you tell them to come. One thing about Ukraine is that, I realized this some time ago, is that things are done here a little bit differently and complaining or questioning or trying to resolve something most of the time is not worth it. It used to annoy me now I just made peace with it. <laughs> 